Welcome to Intuit Field Service Management, powered by Corrigo, your simple and powerful way to get more work done, get paid faster, and grow your business. Intuit Field Service Management is your work order scheduling system designed for commercial and residential service, repair, maintenance, and installation companies, such as HVAC, heating, cooling, plumbing, electrical service, garage door and overhead doors, alarms and security, sprinkler installation repair, medical equipment, appliance repair, pool maintenance, and much, much more. Field Service Management integrates with QuickBooks Online as well as QuickBooks Desktop Edition. Inside Intuit Field Service Management itself, you can view and create customers, track the equipment at your customer locations, and track the service history on each piece of your customer's equipment. You can archive photos and signatures from the field. You can map your customer locations to save drive time. You can locate and track your service technicians through GPS on their mobile device. You can capture payment in the field through our integration with QuickBooks Merchant Services. You can notify customers of their work order status. And you can manage recurring work orders through our optional preventive maintenance service agreements module. Field service management is easy, fast, and flexible. It grows with your business. You can start with one user for yourself and add more users as you grow. Keep in mind that your QuickBooks Online user has access to both the QuickBooks Online and the Field Service Management, but the technicians only need access to the Field Service Management itself. You've got a browser interface for your office users and laptop access out in the field. There's my customer location map. There's my list of pending work orders. Out in the field, You've got a mobile application for all Apple devices and Android devices. That would be both phones and tablets out in the field. Let's take a look at a quick demonstration, the life of a work order. We're gonna create a work order in the office. We're gonna schedule it and dispatch it out to our smartphone. We're gonna create an invoice and take a payment. And we're gonna show you how that invoice synchronizes into QuickBooks Online right away. I'm logged into field service management as Mike, the manager. I'm starting at the work order list view. You can look at your pending work orders, your completed work orders, etc. Most of the time, you're going to launch your dispatch board like this, and our clients like to have the screen full screen, and they even mount it to a big monitor on the wall. I've got a daily view. I can bring up any day in the future. I've got a list view, and I even have a map view of where my work orders are as well as where my technicians are. Easy to reassign your work orders. I've got a work order that's scheduled for later today that's unassigned. Let's give it to Bill Boiler. Simple drag and drop. It's that easy to assign a work order to one of your technicians. When a call comes in, it's simple to create and schedule and dispatch a new work order. I'm going to click on this new work order button right here. And it's a simple three-step process to create a work order. The customers that you have in field service management are synchronized with the customers in QuickBooks Online. You can look up your customers by customer name, contact name, site name, phone number, and site address. Let's just say a customer with cafe in part of their name is calling in. So I quickly search and I can see all my different cafe customers. For today's example, let's just say it's Absolute Alaska Cafe. These guys have more than one service location, so I need to tell my technician where we're going to be going. Let's just say it's Congress Street. Step one, you're going to add a new customer or you're working with a customer you already have in your database. And that takes us to step number two in the work order wizard. And this is where you get to identify what your customer needs. Typically, you've got some services that might be related to common problems. The settings tab over here on the right hand side is where you get to define all the different types of needs that, you're, that you see here. Maybe they're asking us to come out and change a filter or maybe it's just too hot out there. So, Let's just say it's too hot out there, and they'll say the air is blowing, but it's not cold. So we can capture the voice of the customer. You even have the ability to capture custom fields, such as your marketing campaign or your source of call. These guys happen to be an existing account. Down below, I can see my complete site service history at this location, as well as I can bring up service history related to specific pieces of equipment at each location. You click the next button, and that takes us to our smart scheduling screen, which helps you pick the right technician for each work order. You can make this work order an appointment for right away or a date that's further in the future. You can even give your customer a, an appointment window. 
Okay, so we'll be out there sometime between 9.30 and 11.30. Now, when it comes time to decide who to give it to, you can choose the technicians based upon skills, based upon availability on the calendar, and you can also see where they are on the map when where your appointment is on the map. Let's just say we're thinking about giving this appointment to a guy named Chuck Chiller. He's available. He's got the right skills. And if we jump over to the map, we can see where Chuck is right now up here in the foothills. And the black work order is the appointment that I'm about to give to him. If I tap on Chuck's name, it shows me he's here. This appointment is his other appointment that he has today. And this is the one I'm about to send him to. So if that makes sense, Chuck's my man. You can have multiple technicians on your work orders as well by clicking on the secondary column right here and have secondary technicians. You can also filter your list by teams. We click next, we get a quick confirmation screen and we click finish. So it's that easy to create a work order and assign a work order. We see on our list of pending work orders an appointment for Chuck Chiller. It's yellow because it's waiting for him to pick it up. On my dispatch board, Chuck has a yellow work order right here. It's yellow again because it's waiting for him to pick it up. Now let's show you what's happening out in the field on his mobile device. Okay, I've loaded up my iPhone here. I'm going to tap on my Intuit Field Service Management icon there. It opens up my Field Service Management application. Again, this works on all Apple devices and all Android devices. I'm going to tap on my appointments. And I can see that I've got an appointment at 9.30 today at Absolute Alaska Cafe. Later today, uh, I've got Zona 70. And I'm going to tap on my Absolute Alaska Cafe appointment. And you get to control the sequence of the fields that the technician sees on the smartphone. I'm going to tap on status as a technician. I'm going to mark this work order picked up. Now, back in headquarters, this dispatch board refreshes automatically every five minutes. I'm just going to force a refresh because we're in our demonstration and the work orders turn blue when your technicians have accepted them. At some point in time, the technician may want to know, how do I get from where I am to where I need to go? Well, we call that the service address. I'm going to tap on that service address there. And it launches the mobile applications mapping tool. It shows him how to get from where he is to where he needs to be going. I'm going to get out of my map tool here. Go back to my field service management application. Let's go ahead and say that, hey, no kidding, we're actually doing work. I'm going to tap on the status here and mark that work order started back in headquarters. The next time that screen refreshes, the work orders turn green to show that your guys are doing their work. While the technician's out there in the field, he may have some questions. He may need to refer to prior site service history. We call that down here, the site service history. I tap on site. I can see all the work orders that we've done going back forever uh, with this account. We've had these guys for Many, many years, we've done lots of work orders with these guys. So all of that information is inside my field service management and through my mobile application, I can get access to it. We were just out here yesterday. Let's take a look at that work order and we can see it was completed. We can read about it. There was a noise problem. And if the technician took any photographs, that would show up in the notes area here. We can just tap on that and we can see that the technician attached a photograph of the Amana system there at that location. So it's that easy to make smart decisions out in the field. Are we going to repair this thing again? Are we going to you know, replace the equipment? For today's purposes, let's just go ahead and mark this work order completed. And we're going to go ahead and type complete or tap on the complete. Now, this is what we call the work done description. And I can, I can either type into the screen or I can talk into the screen. Resolved AC issue by adding Freon, period, also replaced fan belt, period. It's that easy to use the voice to text right there out in the field. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the continue. Shows me my notes. Now I can tag a particular piece of equipment at my customer's location as having been serviced today. Let's go ahead and tag my package air conditioning unit. I can also read about the equipment attributes. So equipment attributes are things like installation dates, warranty dates, capacities, voltages, serial numbers, etc. So you can see all that information for each of your customer's equipment inside your database anytime. Okay, we've completed our work order down here in the bottom. I've got a little box with an arrow. I can tap on that. I can get my customer's signature. And my customer sees my business information at the top of the screen, the work order information in the middle, and then down below what we did as far as resolving that. I'm going to tap on the accept. And we're going to get Bob's signature with his finger or with a stylus right there on the mobile device. 
And again, we also have the ability to go down here to the notes area and attach a photograph like you saw earlier, just right here. I can take one right from the smartphone or pull it from my picture roll. So that's how you're gonna schedule and dispatch your work orders to get more work done, to improve communications, improve customer satisfaction. You also have the ability to prepare invoices and take payments out in the field. I wanna point out in the background here, my work orders turn gray when my technicians have completed them. So now we're gonna show you how we're gonna get paid faster by creating invoices out in the field if you wish to do so and how to take payment out in the field again if you wish to do so. So we're gonna scroll down to the invoice area and you can put that up at the top if you want. We're gonna tap on the invoice. The items that you have in your QuickBooks back in headquarters, the field service management team can add those to the invoice right here. I can search within the entire list or I can look within buckets. I'm just gonna hit the magnifier here and then we know that we used some Freon, so I'm gonna type in Freon and anything that says Freon in my items list is gonna show up here. Let's grab the, uh, the 410A and we'll tag that onto the invoice and we'll say that we had, uh, I don't know, two pounds of Freon, add that to the invoice. We said there was a fan belt. So I'll just type in belt and see what kind of belts show up. Lots of different belts. I don't know, we'll grab with a $55 one here add that on there. Now, some people charge for labor separately from their items, right? So just go over here. I can find that in services, or I can just type in labor and all of my different labor codes are gonna show up. Maybe I need to charge them for a first hour labor charge. So it's that easy to prepare the invoice out in the field. If I'm not taking payment, I'm done. All I need to do is go ahead and mark my invoice as prepared and the office will, will review the invoice inside of field service management before sending it into QuickBooks Online, okay? Now, if you're gonna take payment out of the field, we just go down here to the bottom and we click on pay invoice. Field service management integrates with QuickBooks Merchant Services web store. So you can take your credit card payment integrated inside the field service management application and the payment will go to QuickBooks hand in hand with that, uh, with that invoice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a check today and we'll get our check from Bob and the check number is whatever and we'll call it AC, AC repair and we'll hit return and charge. So I get an on-screen receipt. I can email this receipt to my customer right from here. I also have the ability to capture a signature on the invoice, right? So I'll just click sign invoice, my business information at the top, the customer's information, and the invoice information. I'm gonna click accept, and we're gonna get Bob's signature right here on that invoice. Again, you have the ability to email the information to your customer right here from the mobile application. It's gonna have their email address at the top. And then you just tap on whichever things you want to send out. If, you're, if you had taken a photograph as part of the work order, you also have the ability to attach the photograph right here as well. And we can just send that to my customer in the email. Okay, so it's that easy. We just completed a work order. Now what I'm gonna do here is close down my simulator and we're gonna log into QuickBooks Online. So I've got my field service management in my browser. I'm gonna log into QuickBooks Online Edition, qbo.intuit.com. Gotta get logged in here. Okay, and if I click on my recent transactions, I can see that we just got a payment and an invoice from Absolute Alaska today. If I tap on that invoice, brings up my invoice inside of my QuickBooks Online. And let's just go to a print preview right here. There we go. You get to choose the layout that the QuickBooks Online uses, and there's my invoice from Field Service Management synchronized directly into my QuickBooks Online. So it's that easy to schedule and dispatch, get more work done, create invoices, and take payments out in the field. Back on the dispatch board, if we click on Chuck's name and we toggle over here to the other screen, I can see the detailed view about my technician Chuck. I can click on Work Order 4158 over here on the left, brings me to the detailed view for that work order. Down here at the bottom, we have an action log for each work order, and we can see who created it, what the timestamps were, you know, Chuck picked it up, he started it, he completed it, he worked on the invoice, etc. So every work order has that action log. Also, you've got the ability to see the attachments and the signatures, and if we had taken a photograph, we would see that photograph as well. Uh, for example, if we go back to uh, Absolute Alaska Cafe, we go to yesterday's work order here, uh, you'll see that photograph is archived that we showed you earlier that the technician was seeing from the field. Okay, so you've got all that information right there inside of your field service management browser interface, as well as on your mobile interface, you've got uh, the mobile app. 
So we've shown you how Intuit Field Service Management for QuickBooks Online is going to help you get more work done, how you're going to get paid faster. We have an optional service agreements module that will schedule recurring work orders and preventive maintenance appointments. The way that looks is you just click on your list here, and when you've got your service agreements module turned on, all of your upcoming preventive maintenance appointments are viewed on a map right here. And what I like to do is I click on the show map. I can see where those appointments are. I can see when they're due. And I can say to myself, you know, this guy here is not too far from this appointment here. And I can see this appointment needs to be scheduled. I can just tap on uh, needs to be scheduled. And it's due before May 31st. Today's only the 15th. But you know what? I'm going to mark it schedule. And we're going to mark it for today. And we're going to sneak it over here to my favorite guy, Chuck, and click OK. That new work order and the checklist of services to provide shows up on his smartphone. Before we end, I want to point out a few things that we didn't cover here, but are covered in other videos. This short video skipped the powerful report system. We highlighted the service agreements module a moment ago. It also skipped our GPS breadcrumb capabilities. So let's talk about pricing. So field service management is a month to month subscription and the pricing is based upon how many named login users you have logging into the field service management itself. Remember, your techs are not accessing your QuickBooks Online. They're just getting into the field service management itself. The base module for Intuit Field Service Management is $35 per month per user, and there's no contract required. Your subscription includes anytime, anyplace access to the smart scheduling, the dispatch board, the customer equipment and service histories. Managers can run reports back in the office, You've got your customer location mapping, the GPS tracking of your text. You've got the mobile invoicing and the mobile payment capture. Also included in your subscription is our online learning center. You get software upgrades and toll-free technical support also included in your subscription. At $35 per month per user, you should have a rapid return on investment. And again, there's no contract required. The per user pricing drops as you buy more users. So if you go to 11 users or more, you get a price break. And again, at 41 users. Again, there's two optional modules. One is the service agreements module that schedules those recurring work orders and the time card module. Those are $15 per month per user per module. Keep in mind the time card module does not integrate with QuickBooks Online at this time. Last but not least, you can get personalized setup assistance and live training at additional cost. And you can join the Corrigo Work Order Network as an Intuit customer at no extra charge to receive work orders from commercial facility managers, and property managers. Take your service business to the next level. If you've got questions, if you're ready to purchase Intuit Accountant Professionals, Intuit Pro Advisors, and Intuit Resellers, please call Cheryl McElrath at 214-838-3668 for more information and to place your order. General sales questions and to purchase Intuit Field Service Management powered by Corrigo, you can give us a call at 866-379-6635. You can purchase it online at www.apps.com. We also have a free seven day test drive. We've got additional video demonstrations and all of our training is located at quickbooks.corrigo.com. Thank you again for your interest in Intuit Field Service Management powered by Corrigo. We look forward to speaking with you soon.